Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pagey here once again with another video on Legends of Tomorrow. So this is going to be my review for episode 16, also the finale of Legends of Tomorrow, otherwise entitled Legendary. So obviously there's going to be some spoilers in here, but let's get into what I thought of the episode. So firstly, I thought Rip was a bit of a sly dog at the beginning when he used that hologram instead of himself to drop the Legends off. But God, it was heartbreaking when Sarah was told the news that Laurel had been killed by Damien Dark by her father. It was incredibly sad, you gotta admit. I thought it was hilarious when Ray thought Captain Cold dying was a sign of himself and Heatwave, you know, to team up and finish what they started. But God, like, Rip was definitely trying to win the award for dickhead of the year with the way he dealt with Sarah, pretending like it wasn't his fault, like he didn't really care. Even though he does redeem himself later when he goes to talk to Sarah and explain it all out. Even though I'm not sure, like 100%, that Laurel was beyond saving, but in regards to other effects it would have had on the timeline and different events, it would have been risky as hell to try and do it. I thought the message through time with Kendra was pretty cool, how she recognized the helmet in Rip's little office area. I thought that was pretty uh, like smart, if you know what I mean. It was really, really cool to see the transmutation with Firestorm because I think they sort of hinted at it earlier this season, like they mentioned something along the lines of that, but finally getting able to see it was really, really cool. But finally getting to like learn this plan of Vandal Savages, as Jack says, was like the most bad of bad guy plans, it was pretty awesome and it definitely outdoes anything we've seen on Flash and Arrow, like the, ex like the, the extent of it, if you know what I mean. The three-pronged takedown of Savage over the three different time periods was really, really awesome. And it was also funny seeing Ray and Heatwave teaming up again. But the montage of Savage getting beat the hell up was awesome. And each kill was sick as well. I was like, oh my god. Sarah breaking his neck, Heatwave burning him alive to a crisp, and Kendra stabbing him in the heart and then Rip frying him up on that electrical board. I was definitely curious on how they were going to stop that last meteorite after like uh, Firestorm transmutated one of them and then the uh, Ray you know, shrunk one of them. I was wondering what the hell are they going to do with that last meteorite? But when Rip picked it up with the Wave Rider and drove it into the sun, I was thinking, holy crap, that is crazy. Is Rip actually going to die? But of course, he doesn't die. The Wave Rider is like... I find it interesting that it has like solar panels, so it's just absorbing all the energy from the sun. We got another sad scene with the funeral scene with Sarah and her father, Captain Lance, which once again was really, really sad. I was surprised Ollie didn't interact with Sarah at all. I just thought that was a bit strange. Like, yeah, he thought he might have wanted to console her, maybe share some grief. I was surprised to see Captain Cold again. We saw it in the trailer for this episode, but I thought it might have been like a flashback. And even though Heatwave's talk with Captain Cold was a bit, you know, frosty, I guess you could say, it was still a really, really nice moment. It shows Heatwave expressing himself properly and shows what he is going to be in next season, if you know what I mean. Like, he's not a villain anymore. He's still not 100% good, you know what I mean? But it shows he has a sort of heroic side. So everyone is staying on Legends apart from the Hawks, which... I wasn't surprised with seeing if Savage was defeated, there's no real need for them necessarily. But I do think they'll pop up next season at some point though in a couple of episodes. If they are in different time periods where the Hawks are around, they would know who they are so they might get their help. But what the hell, we had another Wave Rider landing, I was like, oh, what the hell is this? Is this going to be the mystery man that we're meeting? And then boom, we meet Rex Tyler, aka Our Man. Which, they did say a beloved DC character. Our man's pretty cool, but I don't think he's the extent, like the big person that I thought a lot of people thought would get. A lot of people were saying, oh, could be Nightwing, Booster Gold, something along those lines. Our man's still pretty cool. And he is a member of the JSA, the Justice Society of America. So that opens a lot of doors next season, so I'm surprised. But it was interesting to see that Heatwave had sent him back to get them. Really interesting. But next season is going to be awesome it's going to be insane it's really interesting we're going to have a supergirl we're going to have all four shows so supergirl flash arrow and legends of tomorrow having a big crossover over one week and i think this might be a big justice society of america crossover with possibly different time periods and different superheroes so really look forward to that next season i think it's going to be one of the best things you'll ever ever see on tv but overall i I thought this was an amazing finale. I thought it was action-packed non-stop with hit you in the feels moments as well with Sarah, with Heatwave, with other things. So I think they did a really, really good job. And Legends struggled at the beginning of the season, I think, and at certain parts. 
just because it was trying to find its feet. But I think they've done a really, really good job with what they had to play with and the amount of episodes and stuff like that. But thanks for watching guys, if you want to leave a like on the video, I'd be very much appreciated. Leave any comments in the comment section below, what did you think of this episode? I thought it was really cool. Are you excited for Justice Society of America stuff next season? And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later guys, and goodbye.